An 11 year old girl who was on vacation in Charleston with her family is dead after she was hit by a car. The child has been identified as Selma Aguel of Denmark. News 2's Mason McLeod is live in downtown Charleston. More on what happened and the man police say is responsible. Macy. The child was visiting Charleston from Denmark with her parents. They were walking along the sidewalk here in Cannon Park when an SUV swerved out of the roadway, hitting and killing that 11 year old girl. City officials tell me they are outraged this tragedy has happened. I and the members of our agency are disgusted that we stand here discussing such a senseless, preventable, and tragic loss of life. Police say the man responsible is 30 year old Jeffrey Wakefield. They say he first hit an unoccupied parked car on Rutledge and Morris Street, pushing the car into a wall in front of a home. According to police, he then continued down Rutledge Street, swerving off of the roadway into Cannon Park, where he hit and killed the 11 year old child. There's no worse thought that I have than losing a child. And um, so I ask all of our citizens to, to, to pray for this family. They were just visiting Charleston. They lost their precious child. This was preventable and should never have happened. Had this driver not struck a tree, I'm not sure he would have ever stop. City leaders are pleading to the community not to drive under the influence or let anyone else get behind the wheel if they are impaired. They say they are working to make the streets of Charleston safer. I am very angry and committed to a renewed effort regarding traffic efforts in our city. Those were already in the works prior to this incident and include the creation of a traffic committee of various city partnering agencies to continue to look at three primary areas. We call them the three E's, education, enforcement, and engineering. Chief Reynolds says this includes cracking down on drunk and drugged drivers. Wakefield appeared in bond court today. He was given a $50,000 surety bond for the reckless homicide charge and no bond for the DUI charge. The city of Charleston has connected the family with victim advocates, and they tell me more family members are expected to arrive to the Low Country from Denmark soon. And you can see the family is getting lots of support from the local community. They have been bringing flowers all afternoon and creating a memorial at the base of this tree in Cannon Park. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, Macy McLeod, Count On Two.